I still don't know why that American freeze dried still tastes like dog food. Now I tried Japanese retort pouches and freeze dried stuff over the weekend. Like I said, once in a while I test certain products like this one. All natural, freeze dried. I had a little onions and some hot sauce uh, sauce into it. Okay, if you're doing freeze dried, test what you're going to eat. Alright, I keep telling this to people. If you buy freeze dry or one of those emergency buckets, eat one. Alright, and test it. I always pound this to people's head. We find, well, I have some horror stories on a few emergency food buckets. They opened it, they ate it for a week, and they all got sick. And I said, what's wrong? And then I tested the food, and it's like, it's either contaminated, they didn't properly make it. Okay, that's the worst thing in the world, folks, eating freeze-dried food that wasn't properly prepared or stored. Okay, bags weren't mylar, they were cheap, flimsy, like what you see at the dime store kind of bags. The noodle pasta dish was too salty tastes like crud and it's like somebody somebody was drunk and they do 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 stuffing into a bag and we won't talk about the bag I found a bunch of roaches going hi there all right so you always want to test the quality of the food are you going to have a reaction that's why I'm eating this for lunch all right I'm more p angry than sick I'll find out in a couple hours. Can I digest it? Okay, can I chew it? Does it taste good? It tastes bland, that's why I added hot sauce to it and some green onions. All right, yeah, it's supposed to be chicken couscous. I haven't found the chicken yet. All right, always test your freeze dried meals. All right, always test your emergency food bucket. If they say it's worth $50, then you figure out how many days I'm going to eat and find out it's less of a portion of this, half the size of the portion of this, and it doesn't taste good and it looks like slop. Okay? I've seen a lot of channels who really tested these buckets out. And I forgot, uh, who was it? It was a very popular channel. They had four different food buckets and they had people eat it for a week and they filmed it. And those people either diarrhea, constipated, vomiting. One went to the hospital because they had an allergic reaction to the sulfides. Like I said, it's really funny, folks. Okay. Another trick Uncle Alan always say, Go check out your restaurant supply store. All right. You can buy still bulk stuff. It's a little expensive, but it's worth it. Okay. And we have here one of these. And it's great. If you're a small restaurant or a food bank, we serve hot food when we can at our church. All right. This is usually during the summer when school's out. The kids will get a nice hot meal during lunchtime. And also I can preach and tell them about the Bible. Again, the church don't want me to do that anymore. I love to cook. I like to talk to kids. But they keep saying, Uncle Alan, you're paler than a ghost and you're scaring everybody. They don't want me to drop because they know I will work nonstop. And like, why is Uncle Alan in the soup pot? <laughs> okay. Uncle Alan will work his brains off. Okay, now the real part of this. Food for apartment emergency food supply. This is not your pantry. Okay, a lot of people confuse emergency food supply with pantry. 
Do not make that same mistake. Okay, you want an emergency food supply one month. We'll start from there. This has been revised for seven months. This is for two people. Okay, 20 pounds of long grain rice. I don't want to hear it because I've been arguing people and showing people what the results when you don't know what you're talking about and doing videos. I keep seeing this brown rice thing and I keep telling people you're going to eat black chunky or spotted rice and you're going to be tripping out or vomiting. Okay. You want 20 pounds of beans. Any kind you want. All right. But these are the special tools for that, for that 20 pounds. You need a grinder. I keep telling people this. Not only can you boil it, but you could grind it into flour, these two items, into flour and make noodles, make bread, make cookies. Okay, you could do a whole lot of things. You can make gruel. You can make kanji. You can make 30 different things if you had a grinder. It beats pounding it with a mallet until soft. Okay, it's an easy way to make refried beans too. So you have to have a grinder. You have to have a bucket opener. Do not put it in the bucket. All right, because I have too many people do it. It won't get lost. Uh, brain damage time. Okay, you want five gallon or two and a half gallon buckets. You want mallet, oxygen absorbers, and if you ha have the money, you could buy mylar bags or uh, food saver bags to seal it and put it in the bucket and store it. Okay, really easy, not as much a trouble or a problem. Okay, if you have a problem with bugs, you did not process it right for the bags. Okay. Or you could do like Naomi and Shing 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 I forget where she lives in China and she learned a trick from me. You could fill the bucket up with nitrogen. Okay. Real easy. You could get nitrogen from an industrial supply. It's food grade and safe. A long tube. You want a bottom and gases rise on top. Once it risen to the top, seal it. Okay, you could do a detector or you could have a candle or incense to tell you how much it's burning or flowing into the bucket. Really easy. Do not stick your face in the bucket. All right. All right, 20 cans of fruit. Any kind of fruit you pick, any cans you like to eat. Remember, you have to eat this for a month. 20 cans of fruit. 20 cans of any type of vegetables you like to eat. 20 cans of any kind of meat you like. Okay? This has been revised. 20 cans of complete meals or soups. I'm, I revised this so if you're on a budget, you can afford it. Drink mix and instant coffee packs. You want 30 of them. Okay, this is down to the wire. This is prepping last minute. So you can get drink packs like this. All right, I've been chopping around and cheapest I could find is $3.98 for a box of 30 or 40. It's a little bit more for the instant coffee. It's usually like five, 10, 15 packs per box and it depends what company they serve but instant coffee will last you for 30 days okay you want two five uh, two ten pound bags of flour okay that's for one person a pound one pound two one pound containers of plain salt now I've seen people say it's iodine salt or Himalayan salt or something like this but you have to use it for cooking food preparation, and a whole bunch of other uses. So you want it plain. Myself, I prefer kosher. I have always two boxes on hand, and I have the one pound cylinders of salt. It's cheap. When it was 50 cents, I bought a bunch of them. So I'll never run out. How many one pound containers I have? I have over 100. 
with oxygen absorbers and moisture absorbers sealed up. And if they turn solid, I have a mallet. And I'll pound it and break it up. Now, same time, not listed here. This list will be down below. With the 10 pounds of flour, you want baking powder. Okay? For each bag, two bags of 10 pounds of flour, you want one can of baking powder. Write that down in your notes. It'll be down there in the description list. Okay? And we have two one-pound containers of plain salt. Two, 10 pounds of sugar. If you still have flour and sugar, buy it now. You could also put it in a five gallon bucket, but I always recommend you put it in a bag, like mylar or seal meal. Okay, simple. Same thing goes with sugar but we're adding 10 pounds of it of sugar. And if it's solidified under high moisture areas, you could always pound the hell out of it. Two containers of quick oats or rolled oats. Now, if you're serious like Uncle Al and you know where to look at your restaurant supply store, you could buy the 50 pound bag of rolled oats not horse feed, cooking for making oatmeal, oatmeal flour, oatmeal cookies. I made a whole bunch of my special oatmeal cookies from my nephews or his grandnieces from L.A. And they were looking at, is it raisins? And I said, yeah, what are you expecting it? Last time you grind up roaches and grasshoppers. Okay, I didn't grind it up too good, and they still have little legs sticking out of it. Okay, you want one gallon of olive oil. All right. I have to tell people, it doesn't freeze. It's an oil. It turns into a slurry. If you get something that says olive oil and freezes, it's not pure olive oil. Okay, so you want one gallon of olive oil. And to top, top that up, we have two large jars of peanut butter. This is a revised list. It's right down below. Okay, real simple, real easy, down to the minimum. Everything else is extra. And that's your complete apartment survival foods in case you need a boogie or something. It's right there. So you only need seven because I packed one box of the yellow lid black bottom totes and I showed you in that short where to get it from either um, office uh, Costco or I can't think of the other place um, office depot okay $12.99 here or if you buy the pack it's $39.99 okay still it's a good deal either 27 gallons or 12 gallons, depending what size you get. Okay, make sure it's heavy duty for office use. You do not want to get a tote that's designed for, uh, whatchamacallit, Tupperware. One of the worst totes in history. If I knew it, I would have bought the other one. These totally, st talk about mouse motel, deterioration, breaks apart, garbage. Okay, so I'll catch you later. I'll be seeing you. And like I said, pass this knowledge on. M write down notes. Put it out. Type it out. Spread it through the uh, internet, social media. Tell your friends. Time's running out. And like I said, this is a revised list. Not a pantry. Okay, this is emergency food supply for one month. You need seven months for the dark winter. I'll keep repeating this until I'm blue in the face and passed out on the ground. And I'll be seeing you folks. You have a nice day. Bye now.